Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a tag and this tag was started by Chic Professor and I'll be tagging people at the end. The name of the tag is Luxury Items I Never Thought I'd Buy Tag. So I have seven that I came up with and I want to show those to you and give you the reasons for them. The first one is the first bag I ever bought from Louis Vuitton and it was my dream bag and I still think it's the most beautiful bag they ever made. Um, it's not my favorite bag, however, I've talked about that in other videos, so I won't repeat myself. But this is the Trevi GM, it's a discontinued bag, and I bought it pre-loved. Um, the truth is, I never thought I'd buy any of the luxury goods that I have, especially the handbags, because they're so expensive, even on the pre-loved market. I grew up poor, I never, I always really loved handbags. I remember being in middle school, I think that's when I got into them, but I never dreamed that I would actually spend that much money on handbags. It just sounded ridiculous to me and still does when I think about it. Um, but I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag for so long and I've said in other videos I had some fake ones before and they just fell apart. So I thought it might be worth it to invest in a real one, and boy, did that get me into trouble. <laughs> it started my Louis Vuitton addiction. Uh, so I have a, a small collection that I really love right now. But that was my first bag, the Trevi GM. And I never thought I would have any Louis Vuitton, particularly that bag, because it was so special and pretty expensive. It was. 2500 brand new and I got it for about 14 which was crazy but it's weird because once you start paying those kinds of prices for these bags then you kind of get used to it and you're like oh a thousand dollars that's not bad which is insane okay second handbag that I never thought I'd have is any speedy I was never a fan of the speedies, and all my pieces, by the way, that I have are Louis Vuitton, except I have one Chanel piece here. I was never into speedies, never really cared for them. I thought so many people have them. I didn't think that the style would work well for me, especially since it's a handheld bag. I do put a strap on it. I don't necessarily recommend that. I've talked about that in many other videos. The only reason I bought this bag was to carry my GM agenda. It just fits inside this zipper and into the bag. That is literally the reason I bought it, was to be able to have a bag that would hold the agenda that was a smaller bag with a zipper. Because I think up until then I only had the Trevi, which I was having some problems with, and the Neverfull, which has an open top. Once I bought this bag, it quickly became one of my favorites. And now I know why it is so popular because it is an incredible bag. It is just like the perfect everyday bag. I love Speedies. There is a reason everyone has them. The last handbag I have to show you that I never thought I'd buy is the Noe. And really, I mean any bucket bag. I had this impression that bucket bags were really out of style. And I still think they were, but they've come back into style. The reason I bought the Noe, the reason that I was convinced to get this particular bag, the size and a vintage one, well vintage for the price really, because the new ones, 12, 1400, something like that, at least when I bought this one a couple years ago. And this one I got for around 300 on eBay. I've since ruined it by cleaning it. It's got all kinds of cracks in it. Um, my fault, completely. But the reason I bought this, Two reasons, I guess. My influencer was Hey June down in Australia. I'll link her channel. And the other reason I bought this was the history behind the bag was that it's made to hold champagne. It's made to hold five bottles of champagne. So I got it to be my winery bag. And I often take this to wineries. That's something that my family and I like to do is go to Texas wineries and other wineries when we get to other places that have them. But we're in Texas, so that's easiest. And I'm gonna hold this out for the fourth luxury item that I never thought I'd have, which was anything Louis Vuitton in monogram. Monogram was never my favorite print. My favorite print was always Dummy a Ben. I think I have more bags in a Ben than anything else. Um, I think that the a Ben personally is more, 
I think that the, the monogram is more casual and the Aben is a little more dressy. It's also more understated, which I appreciate. Everybody knows that this, that monogram is Louis Vuitton. Not every notice, not everybody knows that the Aben is also Louis Vuitton. So it doesn't scream Vuitton. It doesn't scream, I have money, come rob me, or anything like that. Um, but now I have lots of monogram pieces, and someone, I don't remember who said it, I don't remember if it was a YouTuber, or if it was on the Facebook group, but somebody talked about the floral print on the monogram, and that just gave me a different kind of uh, perspective on the print, and it made me like it better, so I don't know. But I do think that the monogram bags are really casual, and I tend only to wear those with pretty casual outfits or if I want to have a kind of vintage look. The fifth luxury item I never thought I would buy is SLGs, and I have a ton of them now. I never thought that I would buy SLGs luxury because of the price point and because I felt like they would stay hidden in the bag and I would never see them, and what's the point? If I want to spend that kind of money on something, I might as well get a bag that I can see. And it's not about other people seeing it, it's about me seeing it. But the thing is, once I started buying the SLGs, and I don't remember what got me started, I think maybe the wallet, the Sarah wallet was my first one. But once I got it, I found that I was pulling it out a lot and using it and seeing it a lot. And that I really enjoyed looking in my bag and having the matching pieces. I did decide with my SLGs to go monogram on all of them. I just thought that was classic. Um, most of the SLGs come in monogram, so they're easier to find whatever piece I want, whereas some SLGs don't come in a Ben or an Azure, so if I tried to get matching pieces and all those, that wouldn't work so well. But the monogram, I feel like I can have it with my Aben pieces, I can have it with my Azure pieces, or my Epi pieces, and it works. I have quite a little collection I think anyway. I mean, it's a small collection. I don't feel like I've gone overboard with my SLGs like I have with my handbags. I have a little collection of SLGs, most of which I use constantly, and I have no regrets about spending the money on them. And I've got most of them pre-loved, so I've gotten deals on them. I will point out my favorite SLG since I got it, I believe, is this. The Chanel Boy little card case and I've got my driver's license up front and then some store cards and other cards there. Oh my god, I love this piece. I love how luxurious it is, the caviar. This one I purchased pre-loved off Fashion File, and I'll link my favorite pre-loved places below in the description box. I paid a little more than retail, which I hate doing, but my store just didn't have it. I kept going into the store, they kept telling me, oh yeah, that's a piece we have all the time, try back in a couple weeks and we'll have it. And they never did, and they never called me to say that they had it, so I bought it pre-loved, and I have no regrets about it, even paying a little bit more than retail. I'm okay with it, because I love this piece so much. Another piece that I never thought I would have that's luxury is something in denim because denim isn't really a luxury material. Of course, canvas isn't either, but those handbags are so durable and the SLGs are so durable. The denim is durable, but it's because it's fabric and it's not coated, it's a little more susceptible to damage, to stains and wear and things like that. I bought this little clay just because I liked it. I don't know. It, it wasn't something that I'd been looking for for a long time, I don't think. And since I got this clay, I love it. I love the interior. That's this kind of mustard school bus yellow kind of color. And the denim is so soft. I've never felt denim this soft before. What I want now, and I've mentioned this in a few videos, is the denim pleaty handbag. And I just haven't found quite the right one in the right condition for the right price. It's a discontinued bag, so I have to buy it pre-loved. I have seen a couple that are in the condition that I want. They're close enough to the price that I would like to pay, which is around three to five hundred. I'd rather go lower, you know. But when I have found those, I haven't been in a position where I want to be spending a few hundred dollars on handbags because I've had moving expenses and Sebastian's medical bills to pay and all that. I love having this piece, and because of this piece, I do want the denim pleaty. So that's something that I didn't expect to have in my collection, but I will. It's one of the next things on my list. The last item on my list for things I never thought I'd buy at luxury is my monogram shawl. I got this pre-loved, 
and you see if I can hold it in the right light here, you can see the, uh, the pattern on it. It is so beautiful, it's so soft, it's half cashmere and half wool, it's huge, it's a, it's a square, and it has this fringe on the end here. Um, I love this so much, I wear it all the time, it is so warm, it's freezing in my classroom, so I usually have a scarf and a jacket on. And I love it so much I want to get more. I, the reason I thought I'd never get it is because they retail for 600 and on the pre-loved market they're usually between five and 600. There are, yeah, about that, maybe 400. You can find them around there. I think I got this for three something. But I just think like it's fabric and I can buy a cheap shawl that will do the same thing. Of course I can buy a cheap handbag that'll do the same thing too. So. You know, there are all kinds of arguments to be made back and forth about that. But I do not regret that purchase. It was something I was on the fence about. I do not regret it. I love it so much. I want to get a couple more. I'd like one in the dark brown and black. And there's this light blue color that I think is beautiful too. So at some point I'd love to get those, but those are definitely not a priority. There are some other things on my list first. All right, that's the end of my list for my tag. And I want to thank Chic Professor so much for doing this tag, coming up with it, and for tagging me. And I am going to tag people um, now. So when I was going through thinking of who to tag, I made this long list and I figured maybe I shouldn't do a really long list of people because I should leave people for other people to tag, if that makes sense. So I narrowed mine down to five, and then I also have a little bonus one. So here are the people I'm tagging. Uh, Leo Lion LV, Just Jennifer, Foxy LV, Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover, and Lux Purse Love. And then I wanted to add one bonus person, and she's a bonus because she's probably never heard of me and will probably never see this and never do the tag, but I'm hoping she will because I found her channel in the last few months. She's a much bigger YouTuber than I am and she and her husband have several channels together. Um, they're really awesome and they're so funny together and so cute together. And her name is Dee Levine. Have y'all heard of her? Have y'all seen her channel? If you haven't, you have to check it out, especially the videos where her husband rates her handbags. Those are hilarious. That's how I found her channel and started watching her other videos too. So those are the people I tag and I hope that they do them and then tag other people and make sure that you mention Chic Professor. And I'll also put this on Instagram and tag people there. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know if you don't have a channel what pieces that you thought you'd never have. If you could leave that in the comments below, I'd be interested to read that and I'm sure other people would too. So thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. Click the like button if you like the idea for this tag and click the bell notification icon if you wanna be notified when I post new videos. But before that, make sure you're subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, bye.